Hello guys, it's again it's Matt and today we have another dev server video, the third one of the day and yeah, we have an update that was actually needed. Uh, we have added, um, we have the JA37D added to the game, kind of a weird choice to be honest, very very similar to the normal JA37C. Uh, but it has some minor changes. The first one is obviously this. It can use the RB74. Pretty good, pretty good, right? And also, it can carry <clears throat> a 368 large caliber countermeasures. I have no idea where they go. I mean, here probably. It's a different pod probably or something. But yeah, it's... Oh my god, it's a lot of flares. A lot of flares. Everything else is basically the same. So the radar is the same. The engine, everything else is the same. Is this worth uh, another grind? I mean, another aircraft just for this? I uh, This can be debatable, right? I still think that, I mean, maybe should have... I mean, and it's 0 0.7 above the, the normal one. Okay, and 9Ls apparently are very OP, but uh, still it's, I don't know, I, I just feel like the J37D needed to be added when we got the RB99, the M120. But, I mean, it's already here, so at least then when Fox 3 missiles are added, uh, we will have the, the, the M120 for this aircraft. It's funny because... With that in mind, we can actually have the F4F ice with just M9Ls. It's the same principle, right? So, interesting. I don't know how I feel about this, but yeah, M9Ls and the Sky Flash. I don't even think the Sky Flash is this worth. I mean, maybe taking six RB74s is better, to be honest. But I don't know. Let me let me go for a test flight here to check a little bit of the aircraft. Doesn't have any uh skins or anything like that just this gray one which is oddly enough surprisingly similar to this one but <laughs> but yeah anyway let's let's go for for a test flight over here let me get the ace crew key just to to be able to turn a little bit more oh my god i don't have money it's just bad right so yeah let's let's test fly the aircraft a little bit to take a look let's grab like 20 minutes just to fly around very lightly and let's go a very very interesting aircraft the radar is the same as you see here i mean yeah, it's just the same the cockpit is the same as well i wish we had a better skin to be honest i really like this one um back in the day but Right now, it kind of, it's kind of, I don't know, it's just too gray. <laughs> I don't know how do I say this, but yeah, it's too gray. But yeah, RB74s, man. AIM-9s, AIM-9Ls, as you see. Boom. Very, very nice. This is going to be a very interesting aircraft, because this aircraft is actually one of those that... It is just a little bit um, a little bit different, right? It is a third generation aircraft, but not so much. It is also a fourth generation aircraft at the same time. So I don't know. It's a mix between it. So I, yeah, that's that's completely my fault. <laughs> but let, let's take off. Let's take off again. Of course, it has the reverser. Nice. And I really want to test the, the countermeasures. Where are they coming from, man? I mean, they're the pods there. I mean, we have some of them there, right? Oh, they are in the... No. Are they in the day 9 thing there? I don't know. It feels like they are on the A9 thing. Yeah, see, right? Oh, see. Two ones on the middle there. And then two ones right on the wingtips. On the middle, wingtips. On the middle, wingtips. Let's see if the middle ones end. 
They don't, apparently. It's a lot of players, man. Oh, there you go. We only have the outside pods right now. So yeah, it is right over the A9 there. Very interesting, very interesting actually. It's so many flares, man. It doesn't end. And it's the big ones that also. So it will be it will be super effective this thing. It doesn't end, man. It's oh my god, it's so many flares. Finally over. <laughs> That's funny, man. That's funny. And of course, we still have the... Um, let me... Let me try to... Yeah. Get a lock here. And we still have the... Obviously, the Sky Flash missile. Always a good missile to actually shoot. Uh, for close range headlong shots. It will be kind of a, a doctrine thing, obviously. You could fire the the sky flashes um, on a head-on, and the aim nines on a, a cold aspect shot, so that you can actually be a little bit more effective. Very interesting aircraft. To be honest, it's not that different. It feels the same. The wing, everything is the same. The radar, but it has the more flares in aim nine aim nine Ls. But I wanted to test something on the hangar as well. So as you see here, I think this is the pod, the extra pod. Let's remove it to see if it, it disappears. No, it doesn't. So if that's interesting. I think this is it, right? It's supposed to be like... It feels like it's coming from here because there's nothing else in there. So I don't know. Maybe I'm completely wrong, but... The middle one disappeared, so I don't know. Kind of... Kind of weird, right? It is the BOL pod. So this is the normal one. And I think this is the one. But yeah, very, very interesting. To be honest, I am excited about flying this aircraft. I really don't care that it doesn't have the M120 or anything like that. I was expecting it to be, these modifications to be uh, on the C variant. But it is a fun aircraft to fly, and especially in simulator. And with the M9L, it will be way better uh, to fight the MiG-29 than F-16s. It is a proper... I mean, it's not a fourth generation aircraft, but it is a properly good, like, late th third generation, you can call it, or something like that. So, yeah. Very, very cool. Let me know in the comments what you think about the J-37D. I know you, are, you guys, I know you guys, you're going to complain because it's another grind for another vehicle with just couple of missiles more and a higher VR and I understand you and I kind of agree with you but still let me know in the comments what you think about this aircraft and make sure to subscribe we're trying to hit 15,000 subscribers until the end of the year uh, my goal was 10,000 but I'm trying to hit 15 so make sure to subscribe let me know in the comments and I see you guys on the next one so bye guys see you